Brakteyao, Brakteyao Shay, Brakteyao, Brakteyao Shay, Brakteyao, Brakteyao Shay. Kalala Liam Lai Hao Bashim Yao Shay, Bahara Kakwadash, Double Honesty Apostles and Elves of Great Mosona Salutations at 144,000 men, the one third men, women, children, men, women, and children like to be saved. The Wadi Yao Bashim Yao Shay, the Buddhist Spirit of Me to Boost Lesson, the Prayer that is edifying to, to the listeners out there. All right. First and foremost, let me say it is this lesson is truly for me. It cuts me first because there I was minding my own business. And someone sent me a picture from my past. And um, I feel kind of at fault with it. Uh, it was a bit of a confession because you know, I'm trying to launch my own business and why not. But it requires, you know, um, it requires me interacting with certain people. But, you know, Spirit told me right now that, yo, if I got to cut certain people off, I will. Like, using this word and abuse it, but, you know, I just sent some scriptures to some, to, to, um, to some brothers on WhatsApp. Well, if your right hand offends, you cut it off, you know. That means that even if remain righteous, that even if even if something seems right, cut it off. You know, I hope I hope I hope you receive or or understand what I'm trying to say with that. As in, things might seem like comforting or or, or beneficial at a certain point, but spiritually, most I would tell you yo, that this ain't gonna profit. Like for example, First Kings chapter thirteen. And you know, one of our bigger brothers in our camp went through went through that scripture with us earlier this week. You know, a prophet, an old prophet, told a man of a man of Yahweh that you know he was sent by Yahweh, and you know it turns out to be a lie. But anyway, let's let's get into this lesson. I was going to name this lesson "Throwback Throwback Thrash Day" because you know. It was, this so called Thursday or was so called Thursday. Somebody throw back a, a picture with me and this demon I used to know. And yo, know, I said I just, just got stirred up in the spirit and just wanted to cut it. It's like you left, right and sent, you know. And then I changed the name to throw back throw back drawback days. So I'm gonna call it that or I'll put it into the same first scripture here. Throwback drawback days, you know. So we throwing back those drawback days. Throw it back be behind us, you know. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 10. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. So, now I was supposed to be saying, yo, these days were better than when, when we were in the world. We were better off. We were better off. Than, than no, because what the scripture says in Revelation, I love to bring that out about that church. You know, the apostles, the apostles bring that out as well. It says that I am rich and I we lack nothing. You know, it says that they say that we are rich and we lack nothing. So, but they don't know that they're hungry and they're naked. You know, so what is the cause of? What what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou for thou does not inquire why is he concerned with why? Because um things has to get um worse in order for things to get better. So when shit hit rock bottom, that's when an amazing um pendulum swing, if you will, flip of the script. Um I forgot that word. Flip with his crib, you know. A whole change of scenery, a whole change of everything. Uh, new heavens and new earth we're in dwell with righteousness, right? I don't want to do this lesson too long, but you know, the spirit of Lord, you know, it is what it is. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 34. And hasten not the times that are past to think vain things that thou mayest not, that thou mayest not hasten from the latter times. See that? So, so don't, we can't, what the scripture says is that we, we shouldn't hasten with the times that are past. Don't hasten with the past. Don't speed about the past. 
to think vain things about the past. Me things meaningless things that is in the past. You can't change it, you know. Um let me let me get this other part. Let's see him second I'll just Is four and three. Yeah, you know, with four and five. Second Ezra chapter four verse five. And I said, Tell me, my Lord. Then he said unto me, Go thy way. Weigh me the weight of the fire, or measure me the blast of the wind, or call me again the day that is past. There's a reason why it's called a past. You know. And again, that that's first starts with me, cause that's how these scriptures, that's how these scriptures work. Um, you know, it is good that I've been afflicted, that I may learn their precepts. When we, when we go through, when we go through afflictions, we seek the most high scriptures, and we learn, and we and we we apply it, we apply it to the best of our ability. You know, we apply it. So the beautiful scripture, boy. Let me add it to this lesson. Can I go the right place? Copy it. Yes, lucky, but uh, this is Galatians chapter four, chapter four, verse three, eight, ten. Are you? 3, 8 to 10, it says, Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. How be it then, when, when ye knew not the Mosai, ye did service unto them, which by nature are no gods, you know. We did service on, as back then, when we were children, you know, when, even when we were grown to, but we were child, we were in childlike thing. We were, we were in a childlike state whereby we were impulsive. You know, I know how I said be humble as a child, but we were naive, inexperienced, all right? We did service unto things that are no God, right? He says, but now, after that ye have known the Mosai, or rather ye or rather or rather are known of of Yahweh, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements? Slack you, beggarly elements were unto ye desire again to be in bondage. You see, to looking back and, and drawing back is 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 putting yourself back in bondage. That was that's like the movie in the Matrix when the guy wanted to go back in the Matrix. And you know, he blatantly said, You know, it's like, I know this is, I know this is not a steak, but it tastes like a steak. And I know it's brain signals in my head is telling me it tastes like a steak. He's making certain deals, he wanna be rich and whatever. But now after that ye have known Yahweh, or rather are known of Yahweh, see the most I know. That's a, that's that's a, that's another lesson right there. Or rather known of Yahweh, how how turn ye again to the weak and the beggarly elements whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage. Right, he observed days and months and times and years. 
says, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, You see, ye observe, ye observe months and days and times and years. So looking back in the past, all right? Like throw back Thursdays and, and anniversaries. Well, you know, there are some of anniversaries. But don't get me wrong. This is not saying that what, we, what we're doing is not, look, we're going into history and so forth. But the people who idolize these things, you know. It's like, but I remember when I was, I used to drink all of this. and used to do all of that. I wish I could have go back to them days. Nah, bro. That was them times. Keep moving forward. They're going on to have a lasting life. You know, and again, this this is cutting me. You know, I'll praise Yahweh and Yahushai for his correction, you know. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, this is Luke 9 62, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having, having put his having put his hand to the plough and looking black looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. And as clear as it as a classic scripture, right? <sighs> Like you, Hebrews 6 1 to 6. Now, this is a straight cut, right? Therefore, or uh, admonishment, whatever you want to call it, but this is to you know, strengthen brothers. You know, this strengthen me in my time of weakness. You know, it says, therefore, leaving the principal things, therefore, leaving the principal things, for leaving the principal things of the doctrine of, of a Mashiach, let us go. On unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward the Most High, of doctrine of baptism and of laying of hands and resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment. See that we shouldn't be laying, on, laying again a foundation of, of these things repentance from dead works of faith. For the most high doctrine of baptism, laying of hands and of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this will we do if most I permit, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit, right? And have tasted the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come, if they if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. Seeing they crucified to themselves the son, the son of power afresh, but and put him to an open shame. See that? They're crucifying Yahweh again. And Yahweh ain't going up on that cross again for nobody. Right, let me read back this part. It says, uh, verse 6 If they shall fall away to renew them again unto a repentance, seeing they crucified, see, seeing they crucified to themselves the son of the Mosai afresh. And put him to an open shame. Now the most is merciful. Most I could save whoever he wants to save. The most I could do whatever he needs to do. But at the end of the day, the most I is not is not playing. These are some dread times and we scripture says and you know it it's been reoccurring. Judgment will begin at the house of Yahweh, Basha and Yahweh Shai. It was Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty eight to nine. Now the just shall live by faith, but if a man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. That's a fearful thing. As you know, when Yahweh Shai was baptized, you know, the Mosai said, This is who my, this is my, my um, I think we're roughly paraphrasing, this is my begotten son in whom I'm well pleased. Right? Thank you. It says, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. And I believe you, I believe true spirit and power, Yah Bash and Yah Shai. You know, I keep telling myself every day, every time I slip and so forth, I ain't giving up. So, like Yah Bash and Yah Shai, I ain't giving up. I don't care what I do. As long as I ain't take that chip of vaccine, I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up. You know, that's the main thing, but I, I, I ain't dang said that as you know the highest mark. And as long as I ain't do that, I'm trying to, to do your best to, to do everything the scripture says, you know. You know, and so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahawa Kakwadash, Double Honesty Apostles, and Elves of Great Mustone, and salutations to the sincere Akim 
as your father for a thousand men, the one third men and one children like to be saved. Shalom, Prakata, Apart Babal, Apart Babal, Apart Babal.